I've been cut off one too many times. God, you drivers! This would be me pulling my hair out right now if I had any. Here are the 10 types of drivers that drive me crazy on the road. People who use their cell phone while driving. You know, those people that you get stuck behind them at a green light because they're texting away at a friend or those people that are talking on the phone and suddenly swerve into your lane. You people need to chill out with the phones because the last thing you want to do is to be remembered as that guy who killed someone over a conversation about an anaconda sized dump you had that morning. I know you're excited to discuss the length and girth of that record sized poop you had this morning, but that conversation can wait till you get home, Kimosabi. People that drive fast in crappy weather. You know these idiots. You know that guy that races right by you when a foot of snow just fell. Or that chick that speeds around the corner and almost takes out three cars when it's pissing rain out. You pukes need to slow down when the weather gets bad because when you land in a ditch and I drive past you, all I'm going to be doing is laughing at your stupidity. <laughs> No, I, I wouldn't really laugh. It, they, they could be dead. People that don't clean snow off their car. Not only are these people too lazy to scrape their windows to be able to see anything, but they also chose to ignore the encasement of ice surrounding their car. That's always fun when I'm driving behind these people and a wind gust picks up that giant block of ice on the top of their roof and launches it right at my windshield. Yay! I hope you have good reflexes because you're going to need them driving behind these asshats. People who don't signal properly. You know these mental midgets that give you a heart attack by suddenly merging into your lane without signaling? To these drivers, I appreciate your confidence and my psychic abilities to be able to predict what you're going to do before you do it, but guess what? I don't know what you're going to do, so use your signal! Use your signal! Oh, and don't forget those people that do the opposite and leave their signal on for the whole ride. And you gotta drive way behind these people because you don't know when they're actually going to turn. Yay for guessing games! People who leave on their high beams. Speaking of leaving things on, how about driving in front of those people that have left their brights on? You gotta love when your car is so lit up that it could be mistaken for a landed spaceship. Hey, window licker, if I wanted a lighthouse powered bulb reflecting directly into my retinas for the whole trip, I would have taken a boat. People who don't repair their cars. These are those people that don't get much needed repairs done to their vehicles. I'm not talking about little things like a damaged windshield wiper. I'm talking about that guy that's on the road driving on wheels that are balder than I am. Oh, and my personal favorite, the guy that's MacGyvered a bungee cord under his car to hold up his exhaust so that it's perilously hanging there like Luke Skywalker off of Cloud City. People who take up two spaces in a parking lot. Hey, Mr. BMW, we already know you have a nice car, so I suggest if you want to keep it nice, you don't take up two parking spots. Because I'm just saying it would be a terrible shame if somebody accidentally did some major damage to your nice paint job three or four times with keys in their hand. Or you can do what I do and leave a nice note on their windshield. I printed off a few of these bad boys for just such an occasion. The cute bunny has a message. People who drive slow in the fast lane. I don't know what's so hard for people to understand. The left lane is called the passing lane because that's the lane that people use to speed up to pass your turtle dragon ass. Oh, you're out for a leisurely cruise? That's nice. Oh, you want to go exactly the speed limit? No problem. But stay out of the left lane. It drives me crazy when I have to pass on the right and I look over and all I see is this. Now, I'm not saying it's anyone age group, I'm just saying, you know, yeah, I am. It's, it's old people. It's, it's always old people. People who run yellow lights. I have personally witnessed two separate accidents from people trying to catch that yellow light. Is the risk really worth getting home to catch the first 30 seconds of glee? And I see it every day. It's like people try to catch that yellow light like they think they're Indiana Jones being chased by a giant boulder. You're not Harrison Ford and glee sucks. Chill out. And finally, people that drive with unsecured loads on their car. This is the highest form of douchebaggery on the road and possibly the most dangerous. I myself have literally driven into just all kinds of furniture on the highway. One time I ran over a mattress and dragged it for several kilometers before it almost caught fire under my car. Another time I was driving directly behind a guy that was moving a house full of furniture on his little tiny car and every time a gust of wind would hit it, a piece of furniture would go <laughs> But my favorite experience was the time that I was driving on the highway while it was snowing so bad that I could barely see in front of me and suddenly a giant solid oak wooden couch just appeared right in front of me like a freaking wild Snorlax. Luckily I was driving slow and I was able to swerve and just hit the corner of it, but I still hit that bitch and that bitch did damage. Like who moves a giant solid oak wooden couch in the middle of a snowstorm? God, I hate stupid people. So don't do any of these things when you drive because it's very dangerous and I don't like it. As always, if you like this video, please click like and subscribe and share this video with someone, especially if they're either a bad driver or a new driver because they could definitely use it. And I'll see you with a new video next Saturday. Peace. Mm. I don't know why I did that.
And I'll see you with a new video sometime. I don't know, I can't speak. <laughs>